picture a man going on a journey beyond sight and sound. He's left Shaw Cable. He's entered the cult zone. And now the ghostly voice of G. David Rumley takes you on an exotic journey, interviewing a local football team. There's a lot of rewards, too. I'm the Colts past president, and I've been involved with the association since 1987, and uh, I seem to be involved at the team level quite, quite a bit. I help Doug uh, in the equipment room and re-register players, and basically, uh, you know, I also help put game day together, and uh, I uh, try not to get a bench penalty sometimes. <laughs> I get quite involved in the play. And Hi, my name is Tracy Kilobatch, and then we're training for the Calgary Colts. I have a little arnica, who's our head therapist. Um, I do mostly taping, uh, ankles, thumbs, wrists, knees, and help look after injuries. My job when I'm on the field, well, just, uh, I basically watch, and, you know, watch some of the plays, and, and if they do get hurt, I can kind of guess what happened with the injury. So, I can just the mechan it's called mechanism of injury, so you can see what happened and it just makes it a little bit easier to do the assessment. Sue 
often, and I'm a director and I chair the 50-50. This is my third year of involvement, my second year chairing 50-50. Calgary Colts run the 50-50s with the assistance of the Bantam Junior Football in Calgary at all of the Stampeder home games. Um, half of the proceeds from the 50-50, of course, goes to the winner. The other half is split 50-50 between the Calgary Colts and the Calgary Bantam Junior Football. And we usually have um, 50 to 65 volunteers at every football game to sell tickets and count the money, organize, do the draw, and pay the winner. And it's one of our major fundraisers for the Calgary Colts. Um, my name's Anton Joseph. I've been with the Colts for Calgary Colts for five years now. Watch for number two, Anton Joseph of the Colts. I was a rookie from the team coming straight from high school, and I had no idea what junior football was all about. Not much running room. Joseph is up to make the tackle. Just the complexity of the game. Um, being in high school, I never really, I was never really into all the intricate details. The, the behind the this behind the scenes work that goes on. Yeah, Joseph has always been blitzing. Yeah, now sure. he now he's in the position where he should be blitzing. In high school, it was basically show up with your pads and go out in the field and go. And to put to successfully run a junior program, it takes a lot of hard work from a lot of people. On the replay, there's the handoff. Right there, you see Joseph strips the ball, heads up, really tough to see. And the referee agrees with Anton Joseph. After they talk about it, he strips an excellent heads up play by the Colts defense. Special kudos to Anton Joseph. He's the man back there. actually was a player for the Regina Rams, and I know uh, the Colts uh, team is very close, and they treat the young players a lot better than I, I thought the Rams ever did. They make you feel more of a part of a, a family, and uh, the Colts make you feel like you should, you know, uh, you're welcome to the organization, whereas with the Regina Rams, it's like, you're lucky to be here. I always need help in the um, equipment room, too. Uh, we have some uh, young young men that are helping us with equipment. And uh, the one thing about being an equipment manager or a general manager, you have to basically be here every night. So you can't really, it's hard to find somebody who wants to take that on. But as far as assisting and uh, um, helping on our day-to-day -day routines, if we could get, uh, you know, we have a couple of young guys that do that. I don't know what their availability will be next year, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping they'll be back. My name's Joey Lou, and I, uh, I helped Doug out with uh, the equipment. I can help him pass uh, Philip Water when it's needed. I help him pack for the games. Um, game day, I usually help him uh, sit on the field and yell. <laughs> yell to the, uh, everybody else <laughs> on the field. And uh, I just pretty much help Doug and uh, watch, watch when I'm not needed. And uh, that's about it. Well, Jim Cabs and stuff, it's nice to have extra people. This is course, most of the counseling strip that's on there, taping and strapping the person to learn taping and that right? Or some of the high schools do taping like to think of ourselves as a family, um, everybody playing for each other, and that's what the person would be getting involved in is the family. Everyone sticking up for all for one and one for all.